Hello, I'm Beth Wagner, physical therapist. This video is all about hip strengthening using a TheraBand loop. Now there are many different ways to strengthen the gluteal muscles with different kinds of exercises and using different types of resistance. In this video, I'm going to show you my four favorite exercises using a TheraBand loop. One of the things I love about using the resistance band loops is that they typically come in a variety of levels of resistance. You can buy packages with three levels, five levels, seven levels, etc. Now the set that I have right now has five levels of resistance, ranging from extra light to extra heavy. And the level of the resistance is written right on the band, so it makes it very easy, very handy to adjust the resistance based on the exercise and based on the strength gains that you make day by day, week by week. I suggest starting with the lightest level of resistance necessary to complete two sets of 15 with fatigue at the end of the set. So it might take a bit of experimentation to find the best level of resistance for you. With all of these exercises, you should feel activation in the muscles in the buttocks and in the side of your thighs. You shouldn't be feeling low back pain or any pain that is sharp shooting, stabbing, or any numbness and tingling. Stop right away if you have any of those symptoms. Stretch discomfort, muscle fatigue is normal. And muscle soreness will go away within a couple days of doing these exercises. For best results, do these exercises twice a week. It typically takes about four to six weeks to see noticeable improvement in your strength. You might begin to notice a change much sooner, depending on your body and condition. Okay, let's get started. The first exercise is sit to stand squat with the TheraBand at the thigh. So place the TheraBand loop just above your knees around your thigh. Stand in front of a supportive chair. You don't wanna do this with a chair with wheels or any type of chair that could slide on you. Be sure the chair is very sturdy. Stand with tall posture and we're going to sit back into the chair, reaching back with your hips and reaching for the edge of the chair with your hands. And then we're going to stand back up. So the sit to stand part is pretty quick. Don't completely relax in the chair before you stand back up. Reach back, barely touch the chair, and stand up all the way. And continue. Exhale as you sit down, and inhale as you come back up. If that feels like too fast of a breathing pattern, then exhale throughout the entire exercise. So inhale first, and then exhale. Sit and stand. Inhale. Exhale, sit back and stand. Now, if that feels pretty easy for you and you are confident that your chair is very sturdy, progress this exercise to having your hands out forward or just by your side, across your shoulders. Exhale, sit and stand. Exhale, reach your hips back and stand. When you stand up, be sure to bring your hips all the way forward again. The next exercise is hip half moons. Starting with a TheraBand loop around your ankles or just above your ankle, we'll stand next to a countertop for support. Keep your abdominals engaged, your belly button pulled in toward your spine and maintain a neutral spine. Don't let your back arch. Keep it neutral or slightly flattened. Abs engaged. All right, now start with your foot forward with some tension on the band and move your foot out to the side and then back behind you to make a half moon shape. Continue moving your foot out and back and then bringing it forward again. Continue for 15 repetitions. If you feel fatigue and need to take a break, that's just fine. Perform as many repetitions as you can in a row rest, and you can always take that opportunity to reset the band. It tends to move up your leg a little bit with repetition. Perform 15 repetitions and then switch sides. Standing with my right hand on the countertop, tall posture, abs engaged, neutral spine. Move my left foot forward with some tension on the band 
and then move out in a semicircle, half moon, out and back, and then out and forward. Continue out and back, and to the side and forward. Perform 15 repetitions, or as many as you can do in a row, and then rest. Also, if the band continues to move up, you can go back and rest and reset the band. Okay, now an alternative to the half moon where we break it up into an extension and abduction exercise. Starting in the same position next to the countertop, abs engaged, neutral spine, bring one foot straight behind you and then back to the starting position. Reach your foot back and bring it to the start. Back and rest. Exhale as you lift your leg behind you and then inhale at the starting position. Continue 15 repetitions of leg extension. And then switch sides. Perform 15 repetitions on the other side. And part two is hip abduction. Starting in the same position, lift your leg and press the band out to the side and back to the start. Press and lift, return to center. Press and lift, return to center. Perform 15 repetitions and then switch sides. Press and lift and rest. Press and lift and rest. Continue engaging your abdominals and tighten your gluteal muscles in your buttocks. Press and lift and return to center. And perform 15 repetitions, rest. Perform two sets of all of those exercises. The next two exercises I'll do lying down. Next up is a bridge press. Place the resistance band loop around your legs just above your knee, right at the bottom of your thigh. Lying on your back, place your feet about hips distance apart and your knees in line with your feet and hips. So you should have a little bit of resting tension on the band in the starting position. Now pull in your lower abdominals, your belly button toward your spine, engage your gluteal muscles and your buttocks, and lift your hips up in the air. Be sure not to arch your back. From the bridge position, then press out against the band. Come back to the center and then lower. If that felt comfortable for you, then try increasing the number of repetitions you do before you lower into the rest position. So abs and glutes engaged. Exhale, lift the hips, and then press out, and slowly return to the center. Keep the motion smooth and steady. Continue breathing at a natural pace. Keep your hips elevated and level. If your hips start to sag, or if you start to fatigue, then go ahead and lower and rest. Perform a total of 15 repetitions, resting as often as you need to. Build up to two sets. The last exercise is a clamshell. We'll start on your side and with your head supported, either a little bit up in the air or flat on your arm, wherever you're comfortable. Bring your knees forward, bending your hips and your knees so that your knees are at about a 90 degree angle. Keep your hips stacked, one right on top of the other, and keep the TheraBand loop at the thigh, just above the knee. Keeping a hand here will help you keep your hips stacked. Pull in your lower abdominals, engage your gluteal muscles, and now lift the top knee, keeping your ankles together. And lower. Lift your top knee just as far up as you can go. Everyone will be different here depending on your strength as well as the range of motion in your hip. This is as far up as I can go. Everybody's different. Lift up, pause, and lower. Exhale as you lift, pause, and lower. Continue smooth, steady motion on the lift and the lower. Perform 15 repetitions, resting as often as you need to. After one set of 15, flip over and do the same on the other side. With hips and knees bent and one hip right on top of the other, lift the top knee, pause and lower. 
Exhale, lift, pause. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift, pause. Inhale, lower. Rest when you need to. Complete 15 repetitions. Continue alternating sides for two sets total. I hope you found these exercises helpful to improve strength in your hips and help you get back to your everyday activities. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I've also posted a number of other videos with hip strengthening exercises, as well as other exercises to decrease low back pain. Click the links in the description below to check out those other videos. There are many additional exercises that could support the, the exercises that you're doing in this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I'm able. Here's to your healing, health, and happiness. Have a fantastic day.